So yeah, even this right here is enough to attract attract evil. That's new age stuff. That's the Hamsa, the evil evil eye. Yeah. Watch. Let me now. Let me let me touch your stomach. We'll turn it on more. Touch it. What the? <laughs> Ask you right now. Ask you right now. To touch me. To touch me. All right. Wait. There it is. Yeah. Hey, hey, we always need some prayer. You made me cry last time. I made you cry last time. It was a good thing, though. This has been, what, two, three years ago? Yeah. But you were saying stuff that shouldn't have been. How do you know? Word of knowledge and prophecy, that, that's what it's called. Then let's pray into it. Give me a hand. Lord Jesus, I know that we're here again for a reason. So I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, what you have started, you will be faithful to finish. That's what your word says, that you will finish what you have started. I pray right now, every word curse has been spoken over her. I command it to be broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any heavy burdens, anything that has come upon her through this last season, I command it to be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, anything that has been coming against her mind, any thoughts that have been trying to enter in, and just come against her. I command those thoughts to be brought under the submission of Jesus Christ. And I pray that she will move forward into her destiny and do exactly what she needs to do in Jesus' name. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I, I, as I was praying for you, I started to now see your stomach, okay? And I believe he's showing me something. And I saw you in a sense pregnant, but I, it's not. <laughs> Is it real pregnant or no? <laughs> Uh, I thought I was pregnant. I just tried for a baby. You just tried for a baby? I just tried for one. And then You're not married, though? No. Not you better get married, so try said, and create. That's why we said no, and we're going to do it. But if right you thing. did get pregnant, it would have been a blessing, but, but yeah. we don't curse babies, right? Yeah. So, but I did see your belly. Mm -hmm. I did see your stomach. I saw you pregnant. I was going to say I saw you pregnant with your destiny and your call, but okay, so there's something deeper here the Lord's showing me. Mm -hmm. he, he wants to give you a child. He wants to give you a child, and I believe he wants to give you a boy. I believe he wants to give you a boy because he wants he wants you to, he wants something to carry your legacy. Mm -hmm. You need you don't need it to stop here. You need your legacy to go. On. You got a child already? You got a boy? Okay. So if you make things right, and it's with the person you're supposed to be with, make sure you know that you know that you know, and make sure that the man loves the Lord. The man has to love Jesus, yeah. or he ain't gonna be able to love you right. No, no, he has to yeah. love Jesus. Yeah. Okay, or it's not going to be right, and you're going to be in a cycle of mess, you know. Yeah. But the Lord wants to give you a child. He wants you to birth a child, and He wants to birth a boy, I believe, that will carry your legacy and your destiny. So it's written in heaven, but you just got to make sure things are lined up the way they're supposed to be. So can you put this hand on your stomach? That's exactly what we were talking about. It was? <laughs> yeah. let, let me touch your stomach with your hand, yeah. Father, I thank you. What's your name again? Kiasha. Kiasha. Father, I thank you for Kiasha. I speak to her womb. As things line up and as they make things right, and it's the person she's supposed to be with, I command right now that little boy to come forth and to produce in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to blow on your belly. <sighs> in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Receive your blessing. <laughs>
Yeah, the pastor man over here. Not pastor, not pastor. I, I, I'm messing with you, man. I'm messing <laughs> with you, man. I got. Yeah. I honor you for for yes, doing sir. the commission, bro. So, yes, sir. Thank you. So you've been saved since 2017. Yes, sir. And you're, you're a born again believer. Yes. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So then, this would be my second question. Mm. Ooh, who's? Does any of your names start with the C? Mm -hmm. No. No. Last name start with the C. Oh my. Yeah. Last name. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Last name start with the C. Okay. Okay. Why is there anything happening at home? There's no like family problems like with your parents or like your sister and your parents or anything like that. Nothing's happening. I mean, there, there is. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah with my sister and my parents. Okay, okay. I don't know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know you. Wait, wait. So, I, how do you know that? <laughs> ask, ask your man. How do I know that, bro? It's the Holy Spirit. The Holy uh, Spirit speaks to people. Do you, you know? No, uh, obviously not. I'm walking uh, crazy. Shut up, my God. This is deep. This is deep. <laughs> Long story short, as a believer, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And the Holy Spirit gives us information about people. It's called like words of wisdom, words of knowledge. These are gifts of the Spirit. Yeah. That's why we're talking about this right now. Okay, so I, I say this, I say this because it seems like there's an attack on the like the strongness of your family, the unity of your family. This is what it reminds me of because my, my house was kind of broken. My dad passed away when I was young and yeah. my sister and my brother did their own thing. And there was never a time when we'd come to the dinner table and eat together like a normal family. I say this to say the enemy is attacking the fam, but, but you're a pillar to bring that together. And you're going to be a light in your family more than you think you are. Are your parents Christian? Yeah. They're yep. brothers. These oh wow! Brothers, wow! Yeah, so. All right. So what? It's like when you're hearing this, you're like, "What the heck is going on?" Yeah, no, like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm not even gonna lie. Like me and him were talking. Like we were, we, we were having like we've been thinking about like Christianity. And we're like, there's no way like you know this could be real. Blah blah. I'm like really doubting it. But that's actually wild. Wow. That literally on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that happens. Uh, so the Lord, he, he's on time. He's on mm -hmm. time. Is it okay if I pray uh, yes, for your family and for you also? Is that okay? Is that cool? So you guys are brothers. Yeah, brothers. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. They are brothers. I'll do a quick prayer and then we'll, we'll see what the Lord else, what else, uh, whatever else he wants to say. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Stefano. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I know that you're revealing this for a reason. And I know that you are trying to, to mold something profound in his heart, something strong in his heart that would lead not just his family, but others into the kingdom of God, into a, 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 a strong place in the kingdom, firm. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just pray right now that anything that's been hindering him also inside his heart I said that I would lose him now in Jesus name any self-defeating thing anything that of doubt and unbelief loose him now in the mighty name of Jesus and I just break any 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 attacks any strongholds of like I'm not good enough or I, I can't be capable or I'm not able I just break that off of your life right now in Jesus name because God was made able Jesus was made able not that you were perfect but that he was perfect for you so I pray right now Lord in Jesus name that grace would come upon him in the mighty name of Jesus and heaviness would leave him. I feel like you're hard on yourself, bro. Are you really hard on yourself? Yeah, yes, he yeah he's is. super hard yeah, on yourself. He definitely is. You don't have to be, bro. The Lord, <laughs> the Lord is the Lord is the measure, and he's already measured himself to himself. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like he's the standard for himself. Yeah. And his Holy Spirit is in you, moving you and guiding you to him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's already in you, he's already there, but it's like we're walking in a in a walk with him, like to him, if that makes sense. It says he's the shepherd and the door. So he opens the door into the kingdom, but he also leads you as a shepherd through the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So like, you don't have to worry about being this perfect dude. You don't have to worry about any of that, okay? That's for you, bro. That's a word for you, okay? Man, I, my mans, it's something similar, but it's not the same. Instead of him being super hard on himself, he tries to prove himself a lot. You, you try to prove yourself a lot. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, you have like this, this like mentality of like, I, it's not that I want to be seen, but it's like, I, ha I feel like I have to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you, does that make sense? It's like- yeah, Nah, I get you saying. Okay. This, this stems from a place of like not receiving the love that you've needed like growing up. And I think that came from the mom. Did you, so you guys are stepbrothers, right? Which means you have two different parents that are together, yeah. right? So is it your dad that's, that's with him? Mm, that's crazy. Okay, so your mom is not in your life. Like she's not the one that's living there with you guys. Nah, yeah. like, okay, so you're missing this mother feeling. That's what it is, this mother nurturing thing. Do you, how often do you see your mom? Like every other weekend. Okay, and it's like, are you present when you're there with her? Like is it a very present thing or is it kind of you're just there because you're there? It's like half and half. Okay, so the, I, I was saying there's like a, a lack of nurturing with the mother. When did this divorce happen? Like 10 years ago, you said, right? Man, I think I was like three. Mm. So yeah, That's I don't big. remember it. That's big, low key. Okay, so, yeah. okay. I believe that the Lord wants to, to heal that part of your heart, but I also, this is what I also see. This is crazy, I don't even know what's going on right now, but this is, this is <laughs> wild, bro. I, I also see that you're like a youth leader. I also see like you're a leader for youth, bro. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Do you, I know this sounds weird, but do you sing, bro? I do not sing. You do not sing? I wish. 
I've, okay. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to sing? Like in the shower? Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Hey man, I'm a, a singer. Okay. Um, you have this musical thing on your life, bro. I don't know if you play any instruments or anything like that. Mm -hmm. No, you have you have this like David thing, and it's almost like like um, when you know when he went to the cave. I don't know if you know the story, but he led like misfits and like quote like the Bible would justify them as like losers. You know that had they had debt and like they were they they were just bad dudes like you know men of renown that's what they were called and David led them and they followed David and I really believe that you're called to a group of people that are like misfits you know what I'm saying that that, that like kind of reject God that don't really believe in God but since the Lord's gonna do something so great in you it's gonna pull them into into like why why this guy and they're gonna naturally just radiate to you because of that. Are you guys from around here? Or? Uh, uh, Daytona, yeah. Daytona Beach. Yeah, some, yeah. some are from around here. Yeah. Okay. Some. Okay, used to okay. live, used to live around here, but that's okay. what I used to do. I used to cage fight. Oh really? really? Yeah, yeah. And Jesus got me. In 2012, I was going for my first pro fight. Mm -hmm. I had an encounter with the Lord, with His presence for real. Mm -hmm. And He, it's like Peter off the boat. And I was like, Look, if I'm gonna follow you, I'm giving everything Jumping up. Everything, I'm yeah. all extreme, all in. And here I am today, because of that, because wow. of that all in. So I've learned like when we truly give our dreams up. Mm -hmm. Like really give him, surrender yeah. him. He will, uh, he will exalt us in due season. Yeah, you know? that's true. And now I'm really, I'm really living the Christian dream. You know, wow. traveling the world, seeing nations saved. You know, yeah. for the glory of God. Dang, he's be a fighter. That's actually crazy. I have like a lot of um. He questions a lot. Like yeah, this kid mean. will like okay, question, question everything. Question, and I'll do my best to answer. Give me a question. <laughs> I just struggle like um, finding God is like the thing. Like I overthink a lot of stuff and. I don't know. I feel like it's difficult to just think that someone's actually up there. Mm. Whoop! Well, he's not up there. Well, mm. I, I mean, like the big man. <laughs> I understand, but watch this. Let me let me show you where he really is. Romans tells us the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside of you. Yeah. So he says the kingdom of God is within you. It says out of your belly will flow rivers of living waters. So God has become into union with human through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. The Holy Spirit and our spirit are one. So God is in you. He's not out here. Mm -mm. He's in there. Now, there will be a coming and returning from the clouds. But by his spirit, we are unified with him. And he actually, people see Christ through you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So me and Christ are, are in, in unison right now because of the Holy Spirit. It says I'm seated in heavenly places with him. So I'm actually right now because I'm born again, you're born again. You're seated with Christ in heaven right now. Yeah. If that makes sense. I, I, I understand that. So your, your thought, reason you're having a hard time is because you believe God is out here. And you're having a hard time grasping that he's right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand you got to start seeing God from here. And then he'll feel closer than ever before. Your spirit man's right here. This is where your spirit man is. Yeah. Your mind is here. Your mind, will, and emotions. Your soul, your spirit, and your body. We, we submit to our spirit. We want to be in unison. We want our soul and our body to be in unison with our spirit. Because our spirit is what's born again. Yeah. I remember like, you know? I like that. Thing. I, I read that. I mean, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Trinity, right? One God, three distinct cat attributes. The way we see God is we see Christ, right? The way we experience God is through His Holy Spirit. He, he brings the presence, but they're all their own person doing all the same thing. And the Father, you, will not, you don't see Him, but if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. Does that make sense? Because Jesus is the express image of God in the flesh. Makes sense? Yeah, it does. It makes you know, if you're really open, it depends on how open you are and how open you are and vulnerable you are to believing in Christ, that he is the supernatural aspect. That's why I got a ministry called The Supernatural Life. I can put my hand to your stomach, and if your spirit is really open, and you really believe in the Holy Spirit, you'll feel the stir, and he'll let you know that he's there. What would I feel? You could feel the stirring. You could feel the butterflies. You could feel a presence. Like this, a peace. A pe mean, there's so many different things. Peace yeah. that surpasses. Yeah. You'll be like, man, I was so worried and everything's gone. Mm -hmm. Now you got this peace. So that's just me connecting, you know? Mm -hmm. You want me to show you? Yeah, I get it. I'm gonna try Are you it. open to it? <laughs> yeah, I'm open to it. All right. It. It's real simple, man. Just say this. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Help me. Help me. In my unbelief. In my unbelief. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. To me. To me. 
By your presence. By your presence. Now watch. Simple. Watch. Father, you love this man. I pray right now, Holy Spirit. Just hold tight. You don't have to breathe. You ready? Yeah. Holy Spirit, I pray right now. Break down every mind barrier, every fear. Touch him. More. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. More. <laughs> you feel that, bro. Uh, I mean, I'm not putting my hand on you. You rocking and rolling, man. <laughs> see, something's happening, but what's happening is that thing's trying to click on right here. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Watch. Let me now. Let me let me touch your stomach. Lord, turn it on more. Touch it. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> you see? I told you you're in your head too much, man. <laughs> I didn't know how that happened. I told you. He. I told you he's right there, bro. He lives in you. He's in you. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what that was, but. <laughs> It's God, man. It's Jesus. It's his presence. It's his power. His power. Yeah. It's his presence. It's his power. God wants to reveal himself to you by his presence. He wants to break your barriers down, man. He's showing you like, hey, hey, dude, I'm like right here. Yeah, I see it. He's like, I'm right here. So God is with you, man. Right. You're not as hard hit as you give. Thank you, I mean. <laughs> I'm not what? You're not hard hit. Put your hand on your own stomach. Say Jesus. Jesus. Watch. Say touch me. Touch me. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That's your own hand, bro. Wait. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> that wasn't my hand. That was your hand. And it's not gravity either. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, we're the body of Christ, man. We're in unison. We're unified with Christ. Like, He can touch you and it'll happen. He can touch you, it'll happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're asking Jesus to reveal Himself by His presence. His presence produces power. So what you're experiencing is His presence and His power touching you. That's why you see some preachers that hold their hand and say, touch is the power. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Uh, like enlightenment. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be unbelieving so much now, right? No. Oh, God is in you, man. He's with you. Don't doubt God, man. Uh, it's uh, He's in love with you, you know? You've accepted him as Lord, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And I've Savior? always had some um, some doubt, but, you know, at the end, I always think that he's, like, real. He's, like, our Lord and Savior. Yes. He's got, and you, you've repented of your sins. You've asked him to be your Lord and Savior. Yeah. There's no doubt. Well, if you die now, you know you're with him. Maybe not. That's that not good, man. Well, he's with you. Mm -hmm. So let's let's secure that he's with you. Mm -hmm. Come here, man. Say this prayer with me, bro. Say Jesus. Jesus. I want to secure. I want to secure my relationship with you. My relationship with you. I repent of all sins. I repent of all sins. I acknowledge. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. That I am a sinner. In need of a savior. In need of a savior. And today. And today. I become a winner. I become a winner. I'm not a sinner. I'm not a sinner. So Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord Jesus Christ. I call on your name. I call on your name. I accept what you did on the cross. I accept what you did on the cross. And I ask you. I ask you to save me. To save me. So that I will know. So that I will know. When I leave this earth. When I leave this earth. I will be with you. I will be with you. For all eternity. For all eternity. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. 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 It's that simple, bro. Thank you. The security in Christ, baby. Come on, man. Yeah. All who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. If you believe what you just prayed, you are saved. You don't need to doubt. Let, let God lead you by His Spirit. It says, sons of God are led by the Spirit, and the Spirit will lead them into all truth. Mm -hmm. So the Spirit of God will lead you. Don't try to do it in your own strength, or you'll fall. But if you just wake up and say, Jesus, how you doing? Love you, man. Let's go. Right. And it's not an easy journey, but it's a worthwhile journey. Mm -hmm. Amen. People will hate you for loving Jesus. People will reject you, they'll persecute you, maybe even try to kill you. Hopefully not. Yeah. Some people want to take me out. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just comes with the territory when yeah. you're loving people. I feel like it's also like hard to put like 
God 100% because I focus a lot on soccer. And, like, uh, I do want to go pro in it. Yeah. But I feel like I idolize that more than God. So just bring Jesus into it. Because Jesus wants you to enjoy soccer, but he wants you to love him more than soccer. Yeah. So if you can say, if you can make sure Jesus is the centerpiece of, this, of what's happening, you can play soccer. A lot of people go on extremes and they'll put everything down, but all Jesus wanted was like, bring me into this and, you, and use this to talk to the people that are playing soccer around you. Yeah. So don't look at the sport and say, you know what, Jesus, I'm going to go in here today. I'm going to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm going to tell somebody about you today while I'm playing soccer. Then you're not idolizing soccer no more because yeah. Jesus is with you in the soccer. Yeah, I understand that. You know, there's yeah. a lot of athletes. I talk to NFL running backs and stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring, like, bring, the, bring uh, Jesus into it. Uh, I will. And don't, listen, the one downfall of any man of God, do you know what it is? No. An adulterous woman. Watch out for the ladies, boy. Mm. Yeah. Especially when you look good like you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's also another hard thing. <laughs> it's every young man's struggle, man. It's every older man's struggle, too. Yeah. Just, you know, Proverbs 31 woman is what you're looking for. A woman, well, I'll say this to you. Be a real man. Respect her heart before you respect her body. Amen, bro. Just don't be hard on yourself, man. A mistake isn't going to send you to hell. Righteous man will fall seven times. Just make sure you get back up. If you fall on the ground, dust yourself off, get back up. Don't get caught in religion. Religion will hold you down. It won't allow you to be who you're supposed to be, and it'll judge you, judge you, judge you. You know what? Hey, Lord, miss the mark today. Sin means missing the mark. Miss the mark today. I need your grace. I'm going to do better by your grace. Lead me. That's all you got to say, man. God didn't look for perfect people. He wants to perfect people. I'm a preacher, man. That's what I do <laughs> all over the world. But the word of God is what's going to hang to the end of all eternity. Well, there will be no end, you know? So. You got a little bit more belief now? Yeah, I think I do. You're good people, man. You want prayer for anything? Um, same thing as him. Oh, you battle too? Yeah, we, we had a conversation on the way here. Ah, come in, man. <laughs> So you're the more stronger believer out there. I am, yeah. I disciple yeah. them, basically. I, ah. Yeah, through life. Oh, now I know what yes, you're sir. doing. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so hopefully I'm helping a little no, bit. No, you are. No, you definitely are. Okay. This is greatly appreciate it. Hey, Amen. Keep going. This will help your job yes, afterwards, don't right? don't stop. <laughs> so you want to see if the same thing happens? Sure. Yeah, simple. Say, Jesus, ask you right now. I ask you right now. To touch me. To touch me. All right, wait. There it is, yeah. Wow, whoa. <laughs> he just fell. Look at him. <laughs> Y'all just locking up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was watching you. I was like, he's just faking. <laughs> ah, yeah. I felt it like, come he was on. heavy, no, man. He's yeah. He was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, oh, that, huh? That was, shoot. That was, I told you it's real, man. <laughs> that was. All right, well, I don't got any questions anymore. <laughs> yeah? No, I felt it when it hit him. It was like it rose up on him. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I was, like, I was like, I was trying to find him. I'm like, no, I'm just fake. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. All I ask you guys to do is what I'm doing right here for you. Please do it for somebody else. You can do the same stuff. And not only this, but like if see somebody sick, pray for them. If people are demonized, cast the demon out. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Love the next person. We got to just keep passing this gospel on because it saves, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Are you securing your salvation? Am I securing my... You mean... Like, like how I prayed with him? Oh, yeah. I mean... You're secure. Can, you, I, get a, can I get a prayer, though? Because before this, I wasn't, but like now I'm like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> so say this prayer. Same one as him, right? Yes, sir. All right. Say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I acknowledge... I acknowledge... I am a sinner. I am a sinner. But I do know, but I do know that you died for me. That you died for me. You died for the whole world. You died for the whole world. You shed your blood. You shed your blood for the sins of mankind. For the sins of mankind. And I accept. And I accept that you did die for me. That you did die for me. And that your blood. And that your blood covers my sin. Covers my sin. And now. And now. You have saved me. You have saved me. So Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me of all sin. Forgive me of all sin. I ask you also. I ask you also to come into my heart. To come into my heart and save me. And save me. I accept. I accept what you did on that cross. What you did on that cross. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm yours. I'm yours. In your mind. In your mind. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Simple, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, man.
I wish somebody did this for me at y'all's age. <laughs> right I had yeah. to wait till I was 23. <laughs> I mean, power-wise, I was saved in 1999, but I didn't have an encounter with the power of God yeah. till 2012, 13. True. Well, 11, actually. But, like, really understanding the Holy yeah. Spirit took me a little while. True. I can pray for you yes, I'll take prayer. for more souls to be added unto you yes. and you to walk into your call yes, in a big yes. way. Yes, Father, I thank you for this man of God. Lord Jesus Christ, this is not by chance, and I know that he has a pastoral call on his life, especially to the youth here. They look up to him, and he has no idea how many is going to be around him. There's going to be a lot. So, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray you'll give him more grace for this call, for what he's doing. You, you're even making him a father to many at a young age. There's people now that are even looking up to you like in a fatherly way, man, and they're looking to you at, for direction and for wisdom. So, Father, I thank you right now that even as him being young as he is, you're, you, you have this fathering mantle that you're giving him for the next generation. His heart beats for that. So, Father, I pray right now that that, that preaching voice will come alive and that he will ignite many souls into their God-given destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Of course, bro. Thank you. Love thank you, man. Thank, thank you for you what you do. Of course. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man. I'll keep killing it out there, for real. Listen, <laughs> wild night. Crazy encounters. I think uh, I would say Jesus is saying... Job well done. That's what I think Jesus is saying. And you know what? It's just being obedient. Everywhere you go, there's somebody that needs what you carry. So just remember that. If you don't open your mouth, if you don't go somewhere, you don't preach the gospel, then who's going to hear? How can they hear unless they have a preacher? Amen. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed another night here at Crane's Roost. It's been awesome. It's been good hanging out with my Orlando peeps out here. But uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of every video that comes out. Also, like the video, and you need to share because you care. What would Jesus do? <laughs> if you like what you're seeing here on this channel, uh, you know, the way you get involved, the way you partake of grace is attached to it. So, www.supernaturallife.org. But I will see you guys soon. Love you guys so much. <laughs>